Hi, Penny Lane here. Are you considering the switch from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online? If so, I've got a few tips for you. A few things to keep in mind. Number one, be prepared for the learning curve. While they're both Intuit product, QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop are completely different, and there is going to be a learning curve involved in just learning how to use the software. So be prepared for that. Allow yourself some time for a transition period. Make sure you've got adequate time to make the transition without time sensitive things like payrolls due in two days, or this invoicing has to go out tomorrow. Allow yourself at least a week of total downtime just for the data transfer and plan on some chaos for up to 30 days. The payroll system. Be aware that the payroll systems in QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop are totally different. The QuickBooks Online payroll system is a lot less robust and flexible than the desktop payroll system. For example, you won't be able to make changes or adjustments without going through Intuit payroll support. It's really a much more rigid system in QuickBooks Online. Next, make sure you give yourself plenty of time. This is going to be a really time-consuming endeavor. It always is time-consuming, and while switching from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online isn't the most time-consuming, not as much as maybe other accounting systems, you're probably going to be working some extra hours, your regular work might have to slide, and you may even be burning the midnight oil. Know that your data can be imported in a QuickBooks Online from QuickBooks Desktop, but it's not always a totally smooth transition. Sometimes you have to deal with data services, which can take a few days. Sometimes your bank reconciliations are undone. Your job cost reports may not transition. You know, that's something I can definitely help you with if you're in that situation with the items being different and so on. And your payroll service in QuickBooks Desktop. If you're running payroll in QuickBooks Desktop and you go through desktop and online to transfer, that payroll system will be deactivated. So know that you won't be able to quickly go back and run payroll in QuickBooks Desktop once you make the transition with your data. Proceed with caution. Make sure you will not be losing critical functionality or reporting by transitioning from desktop to online. You can learn more about the major and most important differences in regard to job costing in my 30 minute video, Job Costing in QuickBooks Online versus QuickBooks Desktop. I highly recommend that you become very familiar with what it's going to look like for you as far as your reporting goes when you transition. And of course, I'm always available to help you with that as well. I can help with any issues you have in regard to transitioning. As far as actually transitioning the data, I recommend that you work with Intuit and go through data service, but I highly recommend that you engage with me to advise you in this transition before you make that transition as well as possibly after. There's some really critical aspects, particularly in regard to projects that you may have in transition and getting good continuity with your job cost report. I have on-demand video training for both QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online, as well as one-on-one -on -one screen sharing and remote support. You can learn about all of these on my website at jobcosting.com. And I'd also recommend that you join my Facebook group, Penny Lane's Place for Bookkeepers and Accountants to Learn, Share, and Grow for Construction Accountants. And you can always email me at penny at jobcosting.com. I hope you found this helpful. Talk to you later.